up guys, welcome back to the channel. So I started today fishing over at Buffalo Creek. Took my, my little guy with me, let him play around and end up catching a few. And now this evening, we're out here at the beautiful Susquehanna River. It's extremely low down here where I'm at, but we're still gonna figure these fish out. So I have a few tried and true lures that I'm gonna use and worst case, I also have my bag with me. So we're definitely gonna figure these fish out. So thank you for clicking this video. I appreciate all the support. Please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. But let's see what happens this evening. Let's get fishing. All right, good afternoon, guys. We're out here at Buffalo Creek. I got my little guy with me. He wants to catch some crawfish and we're gonna toss around and Classic creek bait here, Nico Helgramite. I'm gonna have it on a one aught, one eighth ounce North Branch tackle sled jig. So let's see what we can hook into here. The creek's pretty shallow right now because we haven't really had any rain. So it's gonna be a little bit challenging. Again, we just gotta try to find the deeper holes. All right, it took a while, but we finally made it to this little hole here. Got Deegan back there on scavenger hunt trying to find crawfish and salamanders and everything else. Yeah, there's gonna be. I still have yet to catch a fish. Dang it. Got a fish in the tree. Let's see if we can get him out. <laughs> Caught in a vine. Stay on fish. Oh, that's a deep hole. Really deep right here. Oh yeah, it, there's really deep here. There we go. We got it. Finally. First smallie out of the creek. Took a minute. Missed a few little ones and finally got this one. There we go. Not a giant, but at least we're catching something. guys it's now evening time i caught this i caught those few smallies at buffalo creek but came out here to the susquehanna river to wade over here to the island and see what we can get into tonight i still have that nico helgramite and i also have a little baby z2 weightless because some areas of the river there's a lot of snot grass so i think that bottom lure might get a little hung up sometimes and just hook into a bunch of that crap so I figure a weightless fluke would be pretty good there's a lot of people out here today so it's hard to say what's going to happen I mean, i'm sure a lot of these people on kayaks and stuff are just kayaking they're probably not fishing but I did see some few boats out here and a few other kayakers with some fishing rods. So I don't know how pressured it's been. Worst case, I got a bag full of baits too. So we're gonna figure these fish out tonight. Thankfully tomorrow too, we're supposed to get like an inch of rain. So hopefully, God willing, the river definitely comes up. So we need some rain bad. I want to show you guys something over here on this island that I saw yesterday when I was out here. I came out, hooked a fall fish, but I got off. That was pretty much it, which didn't really make enough for a video. 
I did, I did see something pretty interesting over here. Oh, a little one. A little one just came out of it right there again. I get him. Got him that time. That is a little guy. Jeez. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Wow. He's hooked all kinds of weird. There we go. First one out here. Hopefully they get a whole lot bigger than that. Got him. This is what I wanted to show you guys. So yesterday I found this bass caught in this puddle right here. I couldn't get him to bite yesterday. I uh, just got him to bite now. Wow. Dude, this is a nice one. Glad I could save this guy. Dude, this is a this is a big smallie here. Wow. Holy crap you guys off here do you look at this fish this fish was caught in this little puddle so the water as the water's been dropping these past few weeks he got caught in this little puddle right here but dude this was a nice fish like i said yesterday i kept trying to cast my lure at him he wouldn't eat wouldn't eat dude look at that fish that is a nice fish I'm so glad we can help this guy out all right, we're gonna let him go back out into the river. Today's your lucky day, bud. That is so cool. I'm so glad we can help him. I said, that's a good fish. It'd be a shame for something that stupid to kill him, get stuck in a puddle. All right, bud. Go back to good old main branch. Oh, that's awesome. There he goes. That's why that's what I wanted to show you guys. I figured I'd make a quick cast with that little fluke. He freaking hammered it. Heck yeah. I feel like this little fluke is gonna be a, a key lure tonight. If you remember from my last video, these bass were blowing up all up and down this bank and over there where I missed that big one that swirled on it. I feel like this little minnow is gonna do good to mimic. Some of these minnows that the bass are chasing too. Oh, look at that. There's a big wake right there coming right at me. Got him. That's exactly what I was just saying. This feels like a nice fish. It is a nice fish. It's about as big as the one we just caught. Wow. Jeez, look at this tank. Holy crap. Do you look at this one? That thing is massive. Like I said, I saw the big wake. I didn't know he was this big. Cry me knee. That is awesome. Well, I don't know if it's the time of day or what. I mean, the sun's still pretty high, but dude, that is a long fish. That is a good fish right there. All right, let's let him go. This is an awesome evening so far. Dang, I did not expect that. When I saw the weight coming, I was like, oh yeah, it looks like a decent fish. Jeez, I didn't know he was that good. Especially in the summertime like this, when, the, well, as you can see, the water is extremely low in my area. Plus, like I was saying, with all the boaters and kayakers, it's very pressured. So, good thing to do is use lures that are finessier 
I mean, I'm sure you can probably catch them on bigger, bulkier baits, but you know, as you can see, I caught that one stranded in the puddle, and that one I was chasing in is a little weightless fluke. Just a little tip for you. You can't get them to bite like little Ned rigs or stuff like that. Try something weightless that floats. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep my eyes peeled all evening. And if I see bass that are blowing up, chasing minnows, I'm definitely gonna cast this towards them. By the looks of it, they're not gonna have any issues wanting to eat this. So the wind's at my back blowing up, blowing upstream. So these fish are gonna be positioned to where the bait's gonna be pushed too. And they're gonna be pushed up in this pocket. So there's a good chance there's some bass right in here. time these are all gonna be nice fish that'd be sweet so I've been catching a lot of little ones this one definitely feels it yeah that's a good fish maybe the nice ones are just gonna be out tonight oh there's another big one with them let's get him in and see if we can get another one come here bud Feisty. There we go, another one. He's got some weird sore on his face there. I said there was another one with him. So let's get this re rigged and try for his friend. Here. I know there's more around here somewhere. And as the evening approaches here, probably just gonna keep on coming out. There we go. Not a big one, but hey, as long as we're catching fish, I'm good. Go, another one. All right, so I was just doing my little underwater footage there, and I found this contraption laying in the water. It's like some type of spook or something. And this massive octopus hook on here. Leave it in the comments below. What is this used to fish for, and how do you even fish it? I've never seen anything like this ever. It's weird. Did you guys see that? Dude, that was look like a big old bass out there jumping. We're gonna wait out there. Empty some stuff out of my pockets first. Dude, that was a that was a big bass. So maybe it's because of the storm coming in tomorrow. Like I said, we're supposed to get over an inch of rain. So maybe it's a storm front that has them active and feeding up. That was a really nice fish though. It'd be sweet if we hooked them. There we go, there's a fish. I don't know where that one behind me went. I'm still keeping my eyes open. Another dandy. Oh, don't go between my legs. Oh, there's 
and there's jumping behind me. Come on. Man, these hooks are sticky. There we go, another one. There's definitely something going on behind me. And the rod and reel and everything I'm using is a, it's a bull bay rods. This is a stealth sniper. It's a seven foot, medium fast. I have a Sedona reel on there. 10 pound braid to a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. If you guys haven't checked out bull bay rods, definitely check them out. I've been using them for a while now and they're awesome rods. Unbelievably good quality, good action, great action, great sensitivity. I mean, I'm definitely going to be forever using bull bay rods, so definitely check them out. Just when you think you've seen it all at the river, find stuff like this. It's kind of weird. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. What a freaking awesome night. We got to help that smolly out that was caught in that puddle right over there and we caught a couple other good ones but thank you for clicking this video i really appreciate the support when you get a chance get a line wet hopefully one of you guys hook into your pb but i'll see you guys soon stay fishing stay anchored